welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ayana and you want to go ahead, press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you will not miss NT videos from me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, you guys, so if you can tell by the title, you already know what the deal is. I'm going to be trying for the first time ever a tangle teaser on my hair. I know. I know I'm late to the party, I'm late to the table, I'm late to the dinner. I'm going to be trying a tangle teaser on my natural hair for the first time ever. You guys know I love my, my trusty, dusty, hot pink wide tooth comb for my hair when I detangle. I want to give this a try because a lot of people rave about it, like supposed to melt the tangles away, the tangles come straight out your hair. We gonna see. Cause I already had trials and tribulations. I tried two, three different types of brushes before. They're all right, but nothing beats my wide tooth comb. So she's right here, just in case. This is a tangle teaser. Um, it's for all hair types. This is the un unlimited detangler for wet hair. This tangle teaser has a handle on it. I've seen some that doesn't have a handle and I heard people say it's like a little difficult to grip. So I have the one that has the handle on it. I didn't know with so many different types of tangle teasers. There's tangle teasers for thick hair, different types of hair. It's a lot. So I just got the little basic one. Let's see how this is gonna go. I also saw this brush on, I think it's Hazel Goddess. Um, Celia's channel on YouTube and she says she loves that brush on her channel so I'm like let me find out. Also side note I got this is off I got this brush off Amazon so that's a little side note. My hair is freshly washed. I just re-wet my hair because I had to do something and my hair ended up drying out and it was like two hours ago I washed my hair I know but I re-wet it and she's still clean. All right you guys so I'm back. I realized I just had my eyebrows still on and they were like washing away so i went ahead and washed them off but that's here nor there i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off into my normal sections i'm going to be using a conditioner with slip so i have um some Mali moisture conditioner that's one of my other favorites that i use so apply this conditioner very generously all right so i have my hair good and ready with conditioner I'm gonna just split this section in half again so it's not too, too big or too thick. All right, and this is the Tangle Teaser brush out of the packaging. The bristles aren't hard at either. I thought they were gonna be extremely hard, but they're pretty flexible. Okay, so I'm gonna start at my ends. So I'm not gonna get hyped yet, but it is going through there pretty nicely. The only thing I didn't like was that sound of the brush. I know y'all can hear it. It just made me feel like there was a struggle going on. There wasn't a struggle or anything going on or no breakage, but I just hated that sound. Wow, wow, wow. Am I Richard's a bright voice? Wow. Wow. Not bad, actually. Wow. And it's detangled. Like, you see how the comb is just going right through there, man? That's crazy. I'm trying to make sure my roots are detangled because sometimes um, brushes don't really get to my roots how I want it to get to the roots. All right, conditioner is locked and loaded. Starting at my ends. It 
takes no time to detangle my ends. That's crazy. It feels very smooth going on, going through my hair. Got a little couple knots here and there. Came right out. And it's completely detangled. I'm just using my comb to get to the roots. No worries. I'm not worried right now. Just trying to make sure my roots are completely detangled. So far, so good with the brush. Like I said, like my roots, I like to use a comb to get at my roots. If I don't get at my roots, they're going to be severely matted. The brush isn't too, too bulky to get at the roots, but I feel like it's not as accurate or I don't have that much control at the roots with the brush. But other than that, the shaft of the hair, she good. takes no time to get through them ends. I'm trying to see what, what this brush got going on. Oh, that's crazy. And you can see, comb goes straight through there. That's crazy. I think I like that brush. I gotta get used to, cause the, I can't use the brush how I use the comb. Like with the comb, I'll start at the ends, do like this, you know, you know that. But with this brush, it's like you have to, you have to go little by little and just on the top surface, take your time. So the section can't be too, too thick. I have thick hair, so I have to do smaller sections. But I think I like this little brush, this tangle teaser. And I feel like it gets all my shed hair out of my hair. That's the one thing with my comb. Sometimes it leaves a bit of shed hair left in and I have to go in with my fingers to pull them out. But I feel like this tangle teaser, it takes all the shed hair out so I don't have to worry about trying to get the shed hair out before I twist it up. I'm gonna speed through this process as well. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys the amount of shedding that I have from the Tangle Teaser, see if it's a drastic difference. Because I do get a, a little bit of a lot of shedding, a little bit a lot of shedding. I feel like I get a lot of shedding for the amount of hair I have on my head that might be normal, but we'll see by the end of this video. All right, you guys, so I'm completely done detangling my whole entire head. And this is the amount of shedding I have. It might look like a lot, but I usually get more than this because I have a lot of hair. So this is the amount of shedding that I got from using the Tangle Teaser. I don't think it's really rough on my hair. I don't feel it pulling on my hair. I do wish the teeth were a little longer so I can get like in the hair since my comb has longer teeth. But again, this is a brush and this is a comb. 
I do wish that the little bristles were a little longer. Um, the bristles aren't hard at all, so I really like that. I have to learn how to use this brush because I kept, I'm so used to, you know, doing like sh 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 with a comb, but with this brush, you can't really do it like that. So I had to like start at the ends, like, sh like stroke through and then go up, stroke through instead of doing like sh 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 with my comb. I feel like, if I couldn't find my comb, I would grab this brush. If I couldn't find my comb. <laughs> so it's not a bad brush. I actually do like it out of all um, out of the brushes that I've have out of the brushes I have tried already. Um, if you haven't seen me try the Felicia Leatherwood brush, um, the Instagram brush, and I think it was another brush I tried. Um, I will link all of those in the description box for you to go look at. But I feel like this brush out of those brushes I've tried, I feel like this one will probably be the one I will probably grab first. I think I do like this Tangle Teaser. It's not too bad. I don't feel like it was rough on my hair. Like I said, I have to get used to like how to use it. But all in all, y'all, I think I really do like that brush. Um, let me know if you have ever tried the Tangle Teaser before, the one with the handle or without the handle. Leave down in the comment section some other type of brushes, if I haven't tried them already, some other type of brushes that you'll be interested in me trying because I'm open to some things. If there's a comb out there, let me know because I love my comb, y'all. I don't know what it is. I just love my comb. So let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. So go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.